This is Gallagher123123. One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. I'm sorry for that. It's just hard sometimes to have time to do one. Um, what I thought I would do in this video is show you how to update the IDMate Quest, which is a talking barcode scanner from Envision America. If you haven't seen my previous videos on it, please check them out because we're not really going to describe what the unit is or anything. We're just going to look at updating the firmware. Alright, and you can also have a look. I have a review of the previous model, the IDMate Summit. And of course, it's the IDMate Quest, which is the latest model with Wi-Fi. Alright, so let us get into the demo of updating the firmware. I'm going to turn on the Quest by pressing the button on the left side of the unit. The unit is starting up now. And shortly, I should feel a slight... There is a slight little variation from the barcode scanner. And the unit start up. ID made quest. 8 gigabyte card. Battery 100%. ID road. Okay, the unit is on. And now you want to... Connect it to... Charlie Net Network. Well, that's good information. So now you want to go to your system mode by pressing the rectangular mode key. It's on the left side of the series of buttons. It's a little rectangle. Barcode number, memo, stock currency, MP3 player, system. Battery 98%, current date and time, Friday, February 20th, 2015. 8, 10 p.m. And now there'll be an option. If we scroll down. Wireless setting. System link. Voice speed. ID mode playback. Barcode number. Inventory mode. Scanner timeout. Memo mode settings. Press select to enter. Skype mode. Currency mode. Enabled. Now Skype mode. For Press select. To this change is a currency mode. Bit. Won't work anymore. And actually in a version it was removed. But I don't have that. MP3 play help mode enabled. Date and time settings. Press select to barcode database. Barcode database update. Software version 1.7.0 build on April 4th, 2014. Serial number. Software update. Press select to enter. So we're going to press OK. It is recommended that you connect your power adapter to a DC wall outlet. Press select to continue or erase. To exit mode. Okay, so I was just telling you that they recommend hooking it up. You know, this is 98% charged, as it just told us, so I'm not going to worry about it. So I'll press OK to continue. Press select if you want to check for software updated via Wi-Fi. We'll press OK again. Checking for updates. And it's going to tell you what the release notes for this new... Updates found version. available software version 2.0.0. Updates available in this download are... This release provides the following fixes. 1. Added scan history mode. This new mode allows you to review the last 30 items scanned in. ID mode scan history mode must first be enabled in system mode. 2. Added new feature for safe removal of memory card. This feature can be found in system mode. Under memory card properties. 3. Added new feature allowing users to share scanned barcode recordings with Envision America. This feature will allow Envision to update the database to add new items and correct erroneous barcode descriptions. Press select to start the software download. Now, real quick. Zero, four, okay. Um, I'm going to press OK now, or select. And it told us that there are many new features, so I'll press OK. Downloading. Please do not shut your unit off during download. You can always press the record button to get the current percent complete of this download. Now, the update is downloading, and this could take a few minutes. Download successful. Turn unit off, then back on for updates to complete. And now, it tells us that the download was done, and to turn the unit 
off and back on. So let's do that. Press the power powering down. So I press power twice, and our ID Mate Quest should power down. We'll know when we hear a beep. There we go. Now let's fire up the unit again. ID made quest. Eight gigabyte card. Battery 97%. Updates found. Performing software update. Please wait. Now the unit says that it is updating. Connected to Charlie Net Network. It's connected to the Wi Fi. And the unit should be doing its thing. And then. If I remember correctly, we'll have to reboot the unit one, a third time, and we'll be up and running with 2.0. Now, let me see if the record button will tell us anything. No, okay. So we will just wait. Only wait. I'll just say that you know I do hope to do a few more videos. I have some stuff here that I can review, such as this very first accessible iPod. Software update completed successfully. Please turn unit off, then back on for updates to take effect. ID mode. Now the unit has started up, so we could use it, but. We don't have the new features, so we'll turn it off and back on. Press the power, powering down. So yeah, I have an old iPod Nano 4th gen that I hope to review for you guys. So you can see what the very first accessible iPod was like. But I also hopefully will do another putting ID Mate through the test video. I did that last May, I believe, when we looked at scanning prescriptions or, or over-the-counter medications. Alright, so I'm turning on the quest, and with luck, we should be running 2.0. Ooh, hmm. This thing takes longer to boot than it used to. ID made quest. 8 gigabyte card. Battery 96%. ID mode. Okay, so let, we'll just check in this. Barcode num. Memo. Currency. MP3 system. Well, let's have a look here. Battery 96%. Wireless settings, system language, Amer voice speed 100, ID mode playback settings, manual. Press select to change barcode number 20 digits. Press select inventory mode, disable scanner timeout 30 seconds. Share scan barcodes, disabled. Press select key to change share scan barcodes. Scan history mode, disabled. So yeah, we press can... select key memo mode set, currency mode MP3 player settings press select to enter help mode date and time settings press select barcode database version ID made database North America version 5.4.3 barcode database update software version 2.0.0 build on January 12th 2015 serial number key so 1004 software update. Press select to enter. Press the 
powering down. So that's how you update the IDMate Quest firmware. Now, I know I didn't really do a video showing how to connect to Wi-Fi, but if you guys really still would like me to do it, I could do that. It's a pain. But, you know, if you know how to use the device, you, you should be able to figure it out. It's not too, too hard. Okay, well, that's how you update the unit. Hope that this helped, and see you in a future video.